strong. Hello mga kalaro, tara, laro tayo. And what we're gonna look at is the 1 is to 12 Chocado Cross Messiah version Ultraman. There are limited information about this set online. What I do know is that it is an event exclusive in Japan and it was released around December 2021 last year. Um, I was able to get this in Mercari for 5,000 yen or 50 US dollar. That doesn't include the shipping and the third-party cost. In Mercari, the price range goes from 4,000 to 9,000 yen. Um, 9,000 yen, that's a bit expensive. The good price point is around uh, 4,000 to 6,000 yen. Let's look at the packaging. Just like uh, from the other series, uh, it doesn't come with a box. It only comes in plastic bags like this. Um, the only difference is that it has a sticker on it. I might remove this sticker and put it on the on the on the manual. Yeah, on the manual. So I, I'll just keep it as a souvenir. Okay. Um, so how about let's open it up and let's look at how it looks like when it's built. By the way, it comes with a manual, instruction manual. Uh, Cross Messiah Ultraman version. Uh, it shows how to assemble the the figure. So, like I've said, I put the sticker on the manual as a souvenir. This figure also comes with a repainted silver medaroch. And here is Cross Messiah, Ultraman version, already built. It only took me 15 to 20 minutes to build it. It's an easy build, very straightforward. So let's start with the selling point of this figure, which is the color scheme. It follows the Ultraman color scheme, which is red, white, and silver. Okay. Um, what I observe about this figure is that um, it is fully painted, unlike with the version 1 of of Cross Messiah they only painted the details while in this one they painted everything white as the base color and then they painted the, it with red and silver as the as its details okay so as you can see the eyes are now blue and yellow which corresponds to the eyes of Ultraman and as well as the, I think the chest piece of Ultraman is color blue. So I think that's the reference of that, that color, okay, of those colors, okay. So as you can see, it's the figure follows the, or it's a recolor of the version 2 Cross Messiah, which has a deployed stag sword and beetle gun I also like this one see it has a nice detail okay one problem with with the fully painted uh, figure is that it tends to have some paint bleeds actually this one has a very sloppy paint application there are some parts that are different from different shade from from other parts and paint correction especially on this part they use a different color of red blend of color of red here um, but that's okay I'm not particular with with the paint application I kind of wish that they executed it properly there's one advantage of painting this figure, okay? Uh, the joints are now tighter, I observed, because in my version 1, okay, the tie connection is my problem. It easily falls off, as you can see. Just a small movement, it falls off. And it's very frustrating when you pose this figure. This one, it's tight, very tight. I'm not gonna move it around 
I don't want it to get loose so um, let's just uh, let's just play around with this one okay one good thing about it is even if it gets loose when you pose it it holds its pose okay for example this one even if you pose it like this it holds its position even if it's very loose okay it still holds okay let's do the final thoughts on this figure cross messiah ultraman version is a great addition to any metabots fans out there this is a great piece of display a very good model for your photography and video content yes it's expensive and hard to acquire but that's the fun part of toy hunting you might need to live with its sloppy paint application and bad connection joints but its presence to your display makes up for it if you ever get the chance to acquire one, I highly recommend it. I think that it's for the Cross Messiah Ultraman version. Till next time, bye bye.